from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon for a special edition of 4 News Now. Jordan Smith here with Matt Gray at the desk. We've got a lot to get to tonight. Velocity game, the weather. That's what everyone's Oof. talking about, Matt. You St. Patrick's Parade oh, went off without a hitch. Absolutely. Velocity went off without a hitch. Absolutely. Everybody is enjoying themselves with the exception of, if you were like me, maybe you went... I might need some sunscreen. Yep. I don't know what's going on here. Little that's that's what kind of day it has been. Let's take you to a look outside and a look at what is going to be a beautiful first alert forecast. It is 67 degrees. We're a full nine degrees warmer right now in Spokane than we were yesterday as high pressure has really taken over. Not that anybody's complaining. It's been an absolutely beautiful day. A few high cirrus clouds. Otherwise, Barely a cloud in the sky and beautiful blue skies across the region. Here's Coeur d'Alene right now also basking in the sunshine and 66 degrees. So yes, we did overperform. It got a little warmer than we were thinking today. And that means we are adjusting up the numbers for the days to come. As for the rest of your evening, boy, things are looking really, really nice. We'll fall into the 50s as we head towards 7, 8 o'clock and the sun goes down. And then we'll calmly fall through the 40s. We'll briefly touch the upper 30s in the morning and then we are are shooting right back up into the 60s for tomorrow. Another day where I expect us to be right around 67 degrees. Some of you are going to be warmer than that, and I expect the warmth to end up peaking on Monday. So how warm could we get, and what does that imply for the future, and how long is this warmth and beautiful weather going to be sticking around? All that coming up in your forecast. All right, Matt, thanks for that. And there were endless excuses to get outside this weekend as we were talking about. And parting with the Velocity fans was definitely one of them. Peter Choi marched alongside those fans today, and he's got the story. The moment that Spokane has been waiting for. At Riverfront Park on Saturday, hundreds of Spokane Velocity fans. Let's go! Oh yeah, they're ready for that first victory. Longtime soccer fan Jared Bojo with a 509 syndicate says it's a dream come true. This is a culmination not just for the team and the city, but for us as a supporters group, we put so much work in. Okay, Velocity fans are marching right now. They said they've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Let's go Velocity! We now have a flag that we can all fly. Fans say it's not all about the final score. It's about coming together as a community. This has been the best year of my life, building this up and, and helping with this. I've met the best people in the world here, so I would say if you're interested in just getting out, come hang out with us. Reporting from the home of the Spoken Velocity, Peter Choi. And those fans had a lot to cheer about today. We'll have those highlights coming up later on in the newscast. Meantime, tonight, the ban on public funds, including Medicaid, to pay for gender-affirming care is one step closer to becoming law in Idaho. This is about whether we're going to use public funds to provide highly controversial, potentially medically harmful, and irreversible um, medical procedures and surgeries. And if signed into law, it would ban taxpayer dollars for paying for things like puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and certain surgeries. It would also ban any state property or building from providing gender-affirming care. Critics of the bill say this will hurt Idahoans who require these types of treatments. We are human beings. We are your neighbors. We are your constituents. We are valuable members of this community. We are taxpayers. We deserve access, necessary access to benefits as any other Idahoan would. And this bill already made it out of the House and is on its way to the Senate for a vote. Well, a woman is in jail facing several charges after Spokane County's Air One helicopters led deputies right to her. A woman called the sheriff's office Thursday night to report fraudulent charges on her bank and credit cards totaling over $6,000. After getting a text alert from Fred Meyer about a charge, the victim and her husband tracked down Crystal Blyman, who stole the credit cards outside of the store. The Air One flight crew just happened to be in the area and saw the victim and her husband blocking Blyman from getting into her van. Blyman eventually gets in and drives off, but Air One followed her and allowed deputies to arrest her and take her to jail. She's booked for identity theft, possession of stolen property, and assault. 
A second driver made his first appearance in a hit and run in court rather after a hit and run left a Spokane woman dead earlier this week. Modi Curtis is accused of hitting Casey Jr. in the early morning hours of Wednesday on Highway 2. According to court documents, Curtis drove to a restaurant parking lot, then found a way back to his house in Spokane Valley. Police say he didn't call for help after hitting Junior, who later died after she was hit by a second driver who was accused of drunk driving that morning. A commissioner set Curtis's bail at $25,000. He'll be in court later this month. Well, on your screen is Mac. This is the Post Falls Police K-9 who died less than a day after arriving at Titan K-9 Dog Training Facility in Bonner County. Mac died of heat exhaustion, and the man running that facility was in court Friday afternoon facing several counts of animal cruelty. Through a public records request, we learned that four other dogs died under his watch that same day. Those dogs slept in this shed that you can see on your screen here, where a portable AC unit was supposed to be circulating cool air into the building. But at some point during the night, the exhaust vent dislodged from the window and began blowing hot, humid air back into the shed, causing the dogs to overheat and eventually die. The man running that facility, Louis Joaquin Weiner, was in court Friday, facing six counts of animal cruelty. The judge issued a continuation of the case, which is expected to be resolved on March 29th. Thousands weaving their way through the streets of Spokane in one of the busiest days of the year. A look at the massive turnout for Spokane's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Plus, we take you high above the clouds in a very special part of the area to enjoy this weather. A bunch of trails and beautiful views in this week's Air 4 Adventure. Man, yeah, we got some great hiking weather temperatures in the low 70s and upper 60s around the inland northwest. We've got a few more days of this, but eventually things are going to turn. It is still March after all, and that means almost anything can happen. We'll show you the changes that you need to be ready for coming up. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Casino Resort Hotel. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. <laughs> when you download the Fred Meyer app, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. You can always discover more ways to save big every day. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. You're building a home or updating an existing one. You want windows and patio doors to be strong, beautiful, long-lasting, and durable. You want to express creativity and increase your home's curb appeal to feel secure in your investment. Choose Milgard Windows and Patio Doors from River City Glass, industry leaders with the highest quality materials and windows that are backed by a lifetime warranty. Residential and commercial, Milgard Windows and Patio Doors. Call River City Glass or visit their showroom at 6615 East Main. Idol is serving up uh, the best season yet. Loved it. Loved it. And Sunday, the fan favorite returns six years later for another chance at stardom. This is a really weird plot twist. <laughs> American Idol, new Sunday on ABC. This is not any flooring store. This is Carpet Barn. Unleash the luxury with the newest trends in flooring. Guess what? Carpet Barn has blowout prices that will leave you floored. That's not all. Enjoy free delivery and free quotes to kickstart your home transformation. At Carpet Barn, we're not just selling flooring. We're delivering comfort and style right to your doorstep. Upgrade your space today. You and your floors deserve the best. Carpet Barn, where quality meets affordability. The Four News Now team is back together. I'm Derek Dice. My co-anchor, Kirsten O'Connor, has been at home with her new baby boy, Noah. Now she's ready to get back to work telling the stories that matter to you. Join us Monday on Four News Now at 5 and 6.
Wearing green and glee, thousands of Spokane community members flooded into the streets of downtown today, celebrating the 44th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's just a great time. Everybody has fun, and, and we're all Irish, at least for a day. And they got decked out. And we saw rides all throughout downtown today. Kids getting candy from the parade. And meantime, there was beautiful weather to go around for everybody today to enjoy that. Matt, you and I were outside for about... I was watching part of the Velocity game from up top, and you can already see it's a little red on my face, so I'm not ready for this. Yeah, way. yeah, and I've got one, one of my cheeks is a little bit redder than the other. That's right. Had some lunch out on the porch today, got the porch furniture out, so it feels amazing out there. And uh, just don't get used to it, because it is still March, and that means things are going to change eventually. But we got a few more days where things are going to be A-OK, -okay, at least on the weather front, for the time being. So let's talk about what we saw today first. We got up to 70 in OMAC, Moses Lake. We've hit 71 so far today. We've likely hit our high temperatures now, and so 67, I think, will end up being our high in Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, with a high of 66. So yes, it got very warm very fast. And I expect us to be uh, perhaps even warmer in the days ahead, or at least at the same level. Temperatures tonight will thus not really be all that chilly. We'll be in the upper 30s. A few spots such as Grand Coulee, Omac, and Lewiston will be in the low to mid 40s. Clear skies, really beautiful start to our day. And those cool morning temperatures, not going to stick around for long. 50s around lunchtime, and then we're back into the middle and upper 60s for the afternoon. It is going to be a beautiful, proper St. Patrick's Day. If you didn't do enough celebrating today and you got some more on your plan for the bar. By the way, the average high right now is 49, so we're getting close to 20 degrees above normal. We're very, very close to that. Here's your highs for tomorrow, 67 in Spokane. Coeur d'Alene a little cooler, but uh, look, once you get away from the lake shore, you're going to be back up into the middle 60s as you head north towards Hayden and Rathrop. Sandpoint lake effect there as well, with a little, being a little bit cooler in some of the neighborhoods, 62. 65 in St. Mary's and Pullman and we'll see 70s across the Columbia Basin. Now, here's where things get a little interesting, right? So the record tomorrow is 70 degrees in Spokane. The record on Monday is 68, and I think this is when our warmth is going to end up peaking here. So, yeah, I would not surprise me at all if we at least tie this record for Monday. Records only 68 as well on Tuesday, but by then we're going to at least start to have a small hint of what's to come, which will be cooler weather. But... That's three, four days away. You can see here, there's hardly anything going on in the radar and satellite picture as far as active weather. We've got some storms way to the south around Las Vegas and south of Salt Lake City. And then as you work over into Minnesota. So it is pretty quiet around here and it will stay that way through the middle of the week. By the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, though, we are back in the rain. So let's show you how this is going to play out here. Strong high pressure sitting over us. Hardly any wind either, so you're going to struggle to have a breeze sometimes. That's why sometimes it may feel a little bit warmer than it actually is. But then there's a huge system that is going to pump some cold air across the northern plains. Eventually, it drags in another storm and another batch of cool air from the Pacific over into the inland northwest by the time we get to next weekend. And that means we are really going to see those temperatures tank as we head into the back end of the week and early next weekend. So next weekend, not nearly going to be as beautiful. 40 to 50% chance of rain next Saturday. Highs in the upper 40s, very similar to where we were at the start of March. But I tell you what, things looking pretty good, even for most of Wednesday. So really not until Thursday that we start to move back the other direction with the weather. Got to soak it in while we can, Matt. Thanks for that. Well, while people are celebrating this weekend, one North Idaho beer distributor wanted to make sure that you and your friends make it home safe from the pub. Watkins Distributing, Distributing will be sponsoring a $10 discount on Uber rides this weekend. To learn more on how to redeem it, look for the story on KXOY.com. Well, the weather is going to be absolutely perfect to get outside this weekend, whether it's for a walk or maybe even a hike. In this week's Air Ford Venture, we're giving you a bird's eye view of one area that's north of Pullman that offers great trails and spectacular views. Let's go for a ride on the Air 4 drone above Kamiak Butte County Park. Kamiak Butte County Park. We are in Whitman County, uh, about nine miles north of Pullman. 
is 298 acres. We have lots of recreational opportunities here due to the unique landscape of the park compared to the surrounding area. The day use area here has a playground and plenty of shade. Uh, other popular activities here at the park include picnicking, uh, photography, bird watching, snowshoeing in the winter, camping, and of course hiking. There are five and a half miles of trail. For visitors that would like just a quick hike uh, with a view, they can hike to the ridge from the parking lot and back in about a half an hour. For visitors that are wanting to see the summit, the loop trail that goes to the summit is about two and a half miles long and can be done in about an hour. The view from the top of Kamiak Butte is spectacular, and that's one of the main things people come here to see. And from the top, you can see Pullman and Moscow, and on a clear day, you can see all the way down to the Blue Mountains. Kamiak is a very popular place for photographers. But photography is, is becoming a more and more popular thing for people to get out and do. Folks like to come take pictures of the sunset up here from the top of the butte. And it's a fantastic place to take pictures of wildlife and the surrounding hills and the farm fields. Yeah, that's part of what makes Kamiak so popular is that its uniqueness compared to the surrounding landscape. Magnificent forested butte in a sea of agricultural fields. And so it provides that wonderful recreational oasis for people to come and play around in this awesome, beautiful park. Well, history made in Spokane this afternoon as the Spokane Velocity get underway across the street at One Spokane Stadium. Coming up in sports, we're going to break down their 2-1 to -one victory over the Richmond Kickers in front of a capacity crowd. You don't want to miss it. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. <laughs> Say less, get more. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Choose from Bacon McDouble, McChicken, McDouble, or Hot and Spicy McChicken. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What's the score again? It's Hippopotama to huh. So. One more letter and Anton rides shotgun. Let's be real. Do we even know how to spell hippopotamus? Hold on. H-I-P-P-O. Yeah, thanks, Professor. Hey, chill out, man. I'm getting a ruling here. Play daily to win a brand new Mercedes-Benz. Only at Northern Quest. Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only smart base that features our exclusive soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Always keeping veggies at their peak like a Bosch. Freshness lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like a Bosch. Even little baby greens. Like a Bosch. Taste fresh and remain supreme. Like a Bosch. Super fridge keeping food fresh. Like a Bosch. Eating more so you'll be throwing out less. Like a Bosch. Stay fresh like a Bosch with America's most trusted refrigerators from Bosch. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances. Only appliances. Here sits the McDonald's hash brown, the side that makes every breakfast sandwich better. Let's all be more like the hash brown. Your breakfast favorites are even better with a rich, medium iced coffee for just two twenty nine. dollars ba -ba -ba -ba. Sign up for the 4 News Now playbook at KXLY.com. Well, history made here in Spokane this afternoon. The sun is shining. It's St. Patrick's Day. You could have not drawn it up any better. Oh, and the Spokane Velocity got a 2-1 victory over the Richmond Kickers to start off a new era of professional soccer here in Spokane. A pretty special moment for 5,086 fans that packed into one Spokane stadium. But how did it happen? Well, let's get right to the highlights there. If you thought there was going to be any jitters early on for the Velocity, well, think again. They shook that off real quickly. In the third minute of play, Roman Metanier controls the pass, chips this one towards the net, and bounces off the post 
and in for the goal. How about that for the first professional goal in one Spokane Stadium history? Just a few minutes later, off a penalty kick, it's going to be Ahmed Longmayer uh, with the header falling away. That finds its way past Richmond defense, and just like that, Spokane with a 2 to nothing lead. You could not have scripted this any better, but could they maintain the shutout? Well, the kickers throw in. Loose ball finds uh, its way to Adrian Bilhard, and he puts it in the back of the net to make it a 2-1 ball game. However, after that, the teams settle in. The velocity hang on for the 2-1 victory. They get their first win in franchise history in front of a capacity crowd. And our sports director, Julian Minnison, was down on the field for all 90 minutes of that game. Julian, how about that? What a special moment here for this city. That's right, Alex. A picture-perfect day for the Velocity in their first home match here. When we were walking across from our station to the stadium here for their first match, you saw the fans lining up outside, 5,000-plus, like you said, lining up. The lines were longer than Disneyland to get into this place. And then once you were inside, fans were cheering the entire time. You had supporter section behind the goal on the concourse, standing room only, not an empty seat uh, in the house. And then, if that wasn't enough, you had the team pull out that 2-1 to -one victory, resilient effort, holding off uh, the Richmond kickers there in the second half so a successful first day for the velocity of the sellout crowd the win no complaints here and the team was very happy uh, afterwards now i don't know what the rest of the season holds for the velocity of course they're an inaugural season first time this team has come together so it's going to take some time to get the apex of what this team could be however one thing is for sure alex uh, soccer and football whatever you want to call it fever is alive and well here in spokane well, thank you so much, Julian. And like you said, this is about to kick off a huge mon monumental moment here in Spokane sports history. And in about a week, it's going to be another event coming to the city of Spokane, the NCAA tournament. And just to my left is the Spokane Arena, where the first and second rounds of the tournament will be held. Now, it's going to be likely that the Gonzaga Bulldogs and Washington State Cougars will not be playing their games inside that arena because of the way that they ended this season. Well, Washington State, they had a difficult time last night in the Pac-12 semifinals. They fell against a desperate Colorado team. And this one was downright ugly. Washington State only shot 42% from the field, 21% from three, and they committed 19 turnovers. Now, despite all of that, they still had a chance to beat the Buffs late in the second half, but just couldn't convert on any of the opportunities. And this one's going to leave a sour taste in their mouth as they head back home. You know, we had some long faces, and it was pretty emotional for our guys. They really wanted it. So it's like, uh, I said, well, part of our deal these two weeks is to have fun enjoy. But it hurts. It hurts to beat yourself a little bit. They played well, but 19 turnovers is going to stick in our crowd. We take a lot of pride in not turning it over. So that, 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 that hurts. But that bad feeling is not going to last long because tomorrow afternoon we have Selection Sunday where all 68 teams, men and women, are going to find out where they're playing in the NCAA tournament. The madness has begun. Now, Julian is going to be with the Gonzaga Bulldogs. I will be in Pullman with the Washington State Cougars. And we're going to kick this thing off as we get ready for what should be an exciting week. Reporting live from downtown Spokane, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. My French toast sticks are back starting at 250. Now with a sweet new twist, cinnamon sugar churro. Dunk, bite, and savor them any time of day or all day. It's totally up to you, only for a limited time. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Watch me. Watch me work with precision people skills, dedicated to serve with a patriot's will. Some said my condition gave me no shot, but an extraordinary place helped me fear not. Duty and honor, that's where I stand. A proud soldier's code, thanks to a skilled surgeon's hand. Watch me. Life-changing orthopedic procedures at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. Since 1937, Skelton's Flooring has had you covered. And now Skelton's introduces Floor Trader Outlet. Skelton's Floor Trader Outlet buys huge quantities of flooring to provide low prices on high-quality products throughout the store. Now you can find a floor that fits your space, your style, and your budget. And when you find a floor you love, you can take it home today or schedule an installation. Skelton's Floor Trader Outlet, now open at 5951 Airport Road in Pullman. You're building a home or updating an existing one. You want windows and patio doors to be strong, beautiful, long-lasting, and durable. You want to express creativity and increase your home's curb appeal to feel secure in your investment. 
Choose Milgard windows and patio doors from River City Glass. Industry leaders with the highest quality materials and windows that are backed by a lifetime warranty. Residential and commercial, Milgard windows and patio doors. Call River City Glass or visit their showroom at 6615 East Main. Idol is serving up the best season yet. Loved it. Loved it. And Sunday, the fan favorite returns six years later for another chance at stardom. This is a really weird plot twist. American Idol, new Sunday on ABC. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Mr. Box, I had this idea. Is it giving people lots of great food for five bucks and letting them choose between two delicious sandwiches? Great idea, Devin. Run with it. That went well. And you run and get my $5 jack pack. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Slam dunk a deal on 170 new Kias at George D. Kia. And before we go tonight, let's take a final look at your forecast. And my goodness. That is a beautiful stretch of weather there all the way up through Tuesday. You know, Wednesday, not bad either. We just may start to see a couple of mountain showers start to move in as that pattern changes back to, well, where it was up until, say, last Thursday, up until this past Thursday. So we've had, we'll have this nice warm stretch of weather, and then it looks like things will be on the cool side for the bulk of the rest of the month. So, hey, let's enjoy this now, this kind of false spring. Although I can't say fall spring because the start of spring officially is on Tuesday, with the spring equinox. But hey, more daylight, more sunshine, can't complain. More happiness. And you know what? Not much to complain about in the lottery either. It's not too late to walk away with that massive mega millions jackpot. There's no big winner on Friday, and it's the 28th consecutive drawing with no ticket matching all the numbers. So the estimated jackpot rises to $875 million, a modest winning. The next Mega Millions drawing will be Tuesday, the start of spring. So what better way to ring in the new season with uh, a nice nice lump sum there of a couple hundred million. So not too bad, uh, Matt. You better hope I don't buy a ticket or you can be by yourself next weekend. That's right. And <laughs> it'll be up to me to keep these shades on and, uh, you know, enjoy the weather. That's outside. right. We are, we're putting the shades on, folks. Uh, we hope you do, too, in the next couple of days. Take advantage of this weather because... Who knows when it'll be this beautiful again. Spring, anything can happen in the Inland Northwest. Have a good St. Patrick's Day weekend. Stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.